Oh, uh, oh my, I am up in the air. Um, oh, that's a long way down. Uh, um, oh, oh, hello. Um, what am I doing here in your hand in the middle of the night in the, the street? Oh, we're, we're moving. Uh, okay, we are moving. Um, whoa, I, I was not uh, expecting that. I mean, I was not expecting any uh, of this, but uh, that even less. Um, so, um, are you a, are you a giant? Yes, I can see how that might be, um, obvious in hindsight, uh, but I have never met a giant before. Um, hi, I would shake your hand, but your hand is currently, um, wrapped around me, so I, uh, can't really move. No, no, it's, it's actually not too bad. Um, uh, pretty comfortable. Uh, you have a very delicate touch. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, but, you know, no thank you for uh, having taken me from my bed and uh, having, um, I guess, abducted me, uh, carrying me down your, or, well, my street. Although, I guess... No one would argue with you now if you said it was your street. <laughs> I mean, you're bigger than half the houses. Uh, well, actually, more like you're bigger than all the houses. No, uh, except that one. That one is uh, pretty big. Um, but I'm getting distracted. Uh, so, <laughs> giants, huh? Um, what brings you around uh, my neck of the woods? Ah, okay, um, you like humans. That is a good sign for me and my continued survival. Why would I be worried about that? Well, um, you know, it's uh, not every day I uh, get picked up by a giant. In fact, I will say this is the first time I've ever been picked up by a uh, by a giant. It's also the first time I've ever seen a giant. I did not know you're real. Oh, your people are very uh, stealthy. That's um, surprising. I would not have. I would not have expected that. But I suppose I cannot argue that because you definitely somehow. Um, snuck up on me while I was sleeping and uh, somehow got me out of my house which uh, I would also not have expected so th this day uh, has really just been full of surprises and I'm very talkative yeah I, I guess uh, I guess I can see that I mean I like to think most people would be pretty talkative um, when confronted by the uh, unknown. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe most of them would be screaming or, uh, you know, um, maybe they'd pass out. So, yeah, I, I guess I am talkative. So, um... What's your name? Oh, that's a very nice name, uh, actually. Um, huh. Yeah, I, I really actually like the sound of it. Uh, maybe not the, uh, the volume of it. Uh, you're pretty big, and that makes you pretty loud. But um, it sounds nice.
Yes, thank you. It's uh, so much better when you uh, just try to control the volume um, a little bit, since uh, your voice you know, echoes through the entire uh, town and uh, into the valleys. I'm actually surprised no one else has woken up. This is a really, really surprising thing. Um, is that part of how your people are really stealthy? Because if so, uh, you know, kudos to you. I, I have no idea how you managed to, uh, to pull that off. Magic. Oh, yeah. That, um, that would make a lot of sense. I did not know giants could use magic. Of course, I did not know that giants were real. And, uh... Hmm. For that matter, I didn't know that magic was real. So, wow. Um, <laughs> what a world we live in, huh? Yes, I suppose it is very rude of me to not introduce myself to my uh, captor. Um, so, hi. I'm zero... And it's, um, uh, well, I would say it's a pleasure to meet you, but I'm still kind of, um, shocked. So I, I guess I'll say, ha, it is a surprise to meet you because that is still very much how I'm feeling. Oh, oh my, no, no, I, look, I didn't mean anything by that, uh, I'm sure you are a very nice giant person, uh, a very nice person, um, and you would definitely not try to drop me or eat me or anything like that, you know? No, uh, grinding my bones to make your daily bread or <laughs> things like that. Though I did not know that was offensive. I'm very sorry. Uh, yeah, I see how that would not be uh, very nice of me to say. Um, hey, uh, I'm really terrified of heights, so um, are, are we going to be, uh, <laughs> you know, settling down sometime soon? I mean, where are you taking me anyway? Uh, we are... Oh, we are we are very far out into the middle of nowhere. I, I actually didn't even see when we uh, crossed. Huh. Wow. Um. I don't even see my town. Where are we? Oh, in the land of giants. Right. Yes. That would. Sure. Why not? I mean. Yeah. Uh. Oh, this is where all the giants live, and that's why you are never seen by people. Um, huh. Well, that, that actually, uh, yeah, uh, again, makes sense. That's a, a very reasonable and sensible thing. Um, huh. Everything's still, you know, pretty small, though. I would have thought that the Land of Giants would have, you know, giant things. Um, yeah, I, I, guess, I guess you're right. Uh, you know, it's not like there's a whole bunch of different sizes of cows, or uh, a whole bunch of different sizes of um, crops or things like that, so I suppose they would remain about the same size as they uh, are in the human lands. Um, Huh. So that that actually must take a lot of time to uh, gather up all the food that you need. I mean, uh, personally, I'm just really curious about how your uh, how your people survive and uh, you know what the economy is like, and uh, maybe a bit of you know what are your social practices, customs. You know, there's actually a lot of world building that you could do.
Yes, thank you for reminding me. I do talk a whole lot. Um, oh, you're you're uh, squeezing a little a little too tight there. Uh, could you just uh, relax a, a little, please? Uh, okay. Oh, um. <laughs> All right. I I will try not to uh, ramble so much. Well, um, uh, apology accepted. Uh, it's good to know that that was um, an accident and not you uh, trying to crush the life from my helpless body. And uh, yeah, I, I guess I can see how, um, you know, with the need for stealth and all of that, that your people would uh, tend to be very quiet and that loud noises and lots of talking would be uh, pretty uncomfortable. Oh, I'm doing it again. Oh, uh, this is your place. Huh. That's pretty cool. It, it's uh, very nice. It's actually very rustic. Uh, quite charming, if I, if I do say so. Um... So, I guess I am staying with you, then? Uh, yes, that would make sense. That's why you abducted me from my home in the middle of the night, picked me up, carried me through the magical portal, linking the giant and human lands together, and then crossed uh, leagues of, uh, you know, wild lands before... Um, telling me all about the secrets of giant society, uh, such as they are. Um, so, uh, how long am I staying here? Oh, yeah, you know, forever is a really, um, really long time. I don't know if maybe time moves differently in the giant lands and forever is not as long as it is in the human lands. Uh, but uh, I, I, uh, I have, uh, you know, things to do. I, I have work in the morning. Um, so could you uh, maybe take me back eventually? No, I'm not looking forward to going to work. I mean, wow. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is work a lot more fun in the giant lands? Well, some things are the same all over, I guess. <laughs> uh, but really, um, is kidnapping not a crime for giants? Is this just normal for you? Uh-huh, it is a crime. I, I see. So you are aware that you have, you know, committed a crime of some sort by kidnapping me, right? And that's... You're, you're okay with this. Oh, uh, okay. I guess if you're all right with that, then, um... I suppose that I don't really have a choice, so it's fine with me, too. <laughs> um, hey, are there, like, giant police or something? Because, uh... Oh, no, 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 never mind. <laughs> yeah, no, no need to get all squeezy again. No, oh, wow, that is a, uh, literal gilded cage. I... I'm actually kind of flattered, to be honest. Um... Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, way nicer than any place I've ever lived. Uh, I mean, bars aside. But it's very pretty. Uh, I, I really like it. Ooh, uh, thanks for, uh, setting me down. 
oh, these are these are really comfortable pillows. I like them a lot. Oh, you picked them out. Huh. Huh. You have quite an eye for um, decor. No, I'm not just flattering you because you could easily crush me like a bug. Um, I mean, that, that does factor into it. I, I'm not going to lie about that. But uh, you're still um, quite good at this. And, uh, well, I mean, I, I am a fan of your sense of style. It's uh, very lovely. And you do have a radiant smile, um, you know, when you're not uh, frowning at me. So, uh, yes, um, quite lovely. Oh, so um, now that I am here in your home, in your cage, and securely fastened uh, behind that massive padlock, um, what did you want to do? I am going to assume that I am here for some reason, and that uh, hopefully that reason is something that is pleasant. Oh, <laughs> you just wanted some company. Oh, well, yeah, um, I understand that. Ah, so, oh, you, um, you just wanted to talk. You know, you, you didn't actually have to, uh, kidnap me for that. I mean, I have been talking, like, this, this whole, whole time. Um, <laughs> so I think I would have definitely done that anyway, even if you had not abducted me from my home in the middle of the night. Yes, I suppose that if you had just approached me in the street, there'd be a lot more um, screaming and uh, probably a lot of humans running away in terror. Uh, so, I guess the nighttime visit is a is a good idea. Um, still, uh, you know there are there are more pleasant ways to go about this. Well, how about, uh, you invite me over to visit every now and then? Um, or, you know, we could, uh, schedule a date or something. Or, uh, we could write letters. Or send emails if, if you have giant computers. I, I don't know if you do. Ah, right, the, the magic portal that links our realms together. That, uh, yeah, I guess that would make things kind of difficult if you're having to cross back and forth uh, between the boundaries of worlds uh, every time you want to come by and hang out. Um, actually, uh, how, how do you do that anyway? Really? Now that, <laughs> that is fascinating. Um, wow, <laughs> man, that, that could be a whole book. I mean, can you imagine <laughs> what, uh, what humans would do if they knew how that worked? <laughs> wow, uh, people would be losing their minds. I mean, I, I am losing my mind. That's, an, that's crazy. That's the most amazing thing I have ever heard. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, I, I just can't get over it. Like, um, I'm, I'm going to be thinking about that for a long time. Ah. <laughs> uh. Huh. Oh, why, uh, yes, I would like something to drink. That would be quite nice. Um, 
what uh, what do you have? <laughs> that sounds pretty normal. Hey, uh, there's not going to be like a sleeping potion or something in that, is there? <laughs> you know, because there's these uh, stories that uh, humans have about, um, <laughs> well, you know, these uh, <laughs> these folks get a little obsessed and they uh, break into people's houses and abduct them and carry them off to uh, chain them up in their basements. And um, yeah, they're, they're called uh, yandere's. It's, wow, you wouldn't believe how many of these stories there are out there about them and how uh, <laughs> a lot of people actually like uh, pretending that they're getting kidnapped and all of that. Oh, you have those stories too. Huh. Yeah, that, um, again, that makes a lot of sense. Like a scary amount of sense. Yeah, I'd love to hear a story about giant yandere's. Uh, I mean, I'll just sit here. <laughs> you have a captive audience. <laughs> uh, hey, you are you are planning to take me back eventually, right? Uh, I mean, it, look, it's it's really cool of you to bring me out here, but. Uh... Hey, sorry to bother you, but uh, if you made it this far on the video and you're not subscribed, would you mind hitting that subscribe button for me? Thanks a bunch.